<laughs> just this week. All right. Then. Okay, so we're gonna start with Anika. Anika, your your um, your comedy challenge was the work the pussy number. Um, I thought it was absolutely funny. This time Rex was completely on point because he didn't have any words to lip sync. So it was really good, bitch. I love your lip sync was on point. I thought it was perfect. Um, the only thing that I would suggest is is the hair was to me it looked a little dry. Um, Maybe like steaming it out and using like an oil sheet when you steam it out will help like smooth it out to make it more like feathery and so it like kind of flows a little bit better. But this is just really honestly like me nitpicking. I thought the number was absolutely wonderful. Um, as we go into uh, this particular group challenge number, um, I have to give it up for you. And, and the only reason why I'm doing that is, bitch, we've done this several fucking times outside. Were you the leader of the group to show everybody what it was? Yeah. Well, good for you. That was really good. Um, we've done it outside um, several times. It's usually, as Alvaro said, when Janae is drunk and fills her oats. And then I ask the DJ to play it outside, and he'll play it. And then all of a sudden, there's a gaggle of queens around me doing it outside of Kiki. It's so much fun to do. So it's actually nice to see it from the opposite side and watch it happen. So, Onika, good job for you putting that all together. Uh, Miss Beth Salt. Woo! <laughs> Your comedy number I just wrote down ASMR Pickle. Um, <laughs> your lip sync was perfect. You were really on with that. That was really good. I liked the number. And bitch, the way you handled that jar, you like poof, onto the edge of it and just carried it. And then you were just like stuffing pickles in people's faces. I, See, bitch, you don't have any idea. If I was anything other than the fireball queen, I would be the pickle queen, because I fucking love pickles. Um, the, the spicier, the pickler -y, I would I never. Indeed. What? What? Um, so I just have to say your, your first number was so good. The one thing that I actually was like, that's fucking cool, is you would take the pickle out of the jar, and I think that if I was to do it, I think I'd be a little bit more conscious of like where the juice was going, so I'd probably be sitting there trying to like shake it off, but you were just like, Bleh. pickle juice everywhere, it was like running down your arms, through all that arm hair. <laughs> Um, as far as we get into the Let's Have a Kiki Challenge, I think your outfit is fucking perfect. Yeah. I, I kind of wish, however, that you would have kept the jacket on the whole time. It was, I don't give a fuck, bitch. We do shit up there that it's hot, it's cold, it doesn't matter. Suffer through it. We're not meant to be comfortable. We're women. <laughs> Accentuated on the men. I love it. So, um, good job tonight. Very good. Uh, we're going to go on to Miss Ima Peeber. I'm going to go a little bit backwards on this. I'm going to start with the, the main challenge with you. Um, I absolutely love this outfit. I think it's so adorable. Um, I do have a real quick question. Did you guys share classes? Yeah. Not the one she's wearing now, but the one she wore on your first challenge. Okay, I gotcha. And girl, did you see that video of that Gypsy Rose talent? You need to get on that, bitch. Because you were scary as shit. Um, so I, I really love this whole outfit. I loved uh, you were in it. You were like doing the props and stuff. I thought that was really good. This is where I wanted to go backwards. Because your main challenge, the comedy challenge, Ugh. Unfortunately, I felt like the lip sync was a little bit off, which is hard to do with that particular character because she mumbles a lot. So it's hard to find that right point to like accentuate on the words because it just it, it's kind of a mumble the whole thing. Um, I thought that the the ending was a little bit abrupt, and there was a lot of fixing your hair. I see that particular character; and she'll fix her hair like while she's moving, but I felt like the, the hair fixing was a little excessive. Like it might have been a little too far in your face. Um, but this outfit is to kill. I love it so much. Good job for you, honey. Uh, it's Brookback Mountain. 
All right, I love the fact, honestly, that you did contact me earlier this week and you asked me what you could do to kind of uh, bump your makeup a little bit, and I gave you some tips, and I would say your makeup looks absolutely fabulous tonight. It looks wonderful, it works well with the stage lights and everything. Uh, your, your number, there's a, there's a rule that we have uh, when we're running in pageants, well, the America system specifically, and it's a three minute setup, three minute tear down. So you had a really long setup. If this was a normal show and you were gonna do that, that whole beginning part would have been completely unnecessary and it took way too long to set up. So if you are gonna do it in the future, try to use, utilize the people to get it done a little bit faster, because it, it took a little bit long. Um, once, I wrote down, I said, we're sitting here waiting, and then I put, and then, damn. <laughs> Bitch, you call that every fuckboy in Tucson. I love it. I like the, the fact that there was a whole slide that came up that was just pictures of you. <laughs> I thought it was really cute, it was real fun. You actually... As Alvaro said, you nailed the choreography because, bitch, you didn't have to do anything. And to be quite honest, no one was looking at you. We were all looking at the screen, so you were just standing there like, bloop, bloop, bloop. And I'd look over and you just looked pretty. The whole outfit was cute. I'm sitting here next to Tatiana, or Tatiana, Diva. And uh, as you were doing it, I was like, no, she's not doing a PowerPoint presentation right now. And Diva goes, I feel like I'm back in a fucking board meeting. What the fuck? Really cute idea. I thought it was executed very well. This look is fantastic on you. However, you were off from the choreography quite a few times tonight. Um, so I did notice that. Everybody else was kind of on point, and you were the one that was kind of like, oh, uh, oh, I've got to move now. So that is what I noticed about you. Um, I do have to say all four of you, congratulations making it to the top four. And a special shout out because my top five, that somebody asked me what I thought my top five was, and three of you are up there right now, and the one person that has really surprised the fuck out of me is Miss Beth Saltz. Thank you so much. I'm very impressed with uh, your uh, courage to step outside of your box, but still stay in your own personal aesthetic while providing us with what the challenge is. So I, I love that. Thank you so much. And that's all I have for you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Karen Lee. 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 Oh my God, give it up, ladies and gentlemen, for these contestants. They're I'm gonna start backwards. I'm gonna start with Brooke. Um, Brooke, I'm gonna start with this look right now. Um, I, I think it's cute. I just think it's boring compared to everyone else right now. It's like a tracksuit with some white boots. And I was like, okay, all right. Um, but other than that, I agree with everything that Janae was saying, so I'm not going to restate it. But other than that, I just want to tell you, I really wish this look would have been something to like, hey, you guys, I'm not just here to survive, I'm here to win. And this look right here just makes me look like, oh, it's kind of Kill Bill game, but not really. It looks like you were at somewhere and saw a tracksuit and was like, I'm going to wear this. And that's not what I think of when I think of season six champion, you know what I'm saying? That's the only thing, just to keep it real. Other than that, thank you for wearing your jewelry, thank you for having impeccable nails, your makeup, I don't know, I saw, the jewelry was all on. There was a part where you flipped your hair back and I saw that earring say, hey Viva, I'm right here, and I was like, hey girl, how are you doing? You know, I love that, thank you. Um, for your regular challenge, I wrote down two words, I'm shook. I, that's all I wrote for you. I, you know what? There are some performers, there's a lot of performers nationally that have been recognized and won crowns just standing in one spot and doing something. And you know what it is? It's creativity. It's people absolutely thrive on creativity. And the fact that you sat in front of your community and said, I'm gonna call all you bitches out. Here we go. And all of these hosts that are in here right now want to fight you, which is wonderful. 
but you called him out, bitch, and it was hilarious. So congratulations, that was a wonderful, wonderful performance. It was funny. I'm still gonna be thinking about it later on, and Alana's gonna text about it right now. It's fine. I love it. Great job, bro. Thank you for being creative. Give it up for bros, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm a hey girl. I agree with um, I agree with Janae. I always tell people whenever they come to Tucson for the first time, Tucson is full of drag queens, artists, and hippies. And I think this look just represents what Tucson is. Locks on on Fourth Avenue. Like you totally could be that bitch. I love it. I love all of this, and it's it's fabulous. I thought you did a great job during this whole gig. The whole uh, group number. It was a really you took it and you were like, let me do the most with this. I love your jewelry. I love your nails. I love your hair. I really wish you would have taken off the old lady face, just as something to like separate your first face from the second face. <laughs> She's like, that's me. It's fine. But I wish you would have taken it away. Um, outside of that, I enjoy the earrings. I enjoy the hair. I enjoy all of this. Great look for this competition. Now, for your main challenge, um, Gina's lip sync was all over the place. All over the place, bitch. There were some times where there's, I think she's going to be on my bottom tonight. It's fun. Um, Okay. Um, <laughs> um, other than that, I said there were parts where I was like living, and then there were parts where I was bored. You know, it was just like, oh my god, it was built up, and then it would be like, ah ha ha, and then all of a sudden, nothing. And I, I looked around and I saw people like texting, and I saw people like, and I think back to performances like Brooks where everybody was glued to the stage through the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? That was the thing that kind of separated that. Other than that, I gotta say, um, it was it was creative. I've seen, I've seen that Mad TV character portrayed many, many, many times. I feel like the hair was wrong for it. It was too long. Her hair is like a boy cut, and it's very, you know, so it doesn't get in her face. Uh, a lot of the times I never saw your face, so that was it. Other than that, Everybody knows that you're fucking hilarious, so I thought you did a great job, and I thought you still are doing a great job, so great job, girl. <laughs> Beth! Hey, darling. Oh my god, I'll start with this look. Honey, I'm living, I feel like this is very Beth. This whole look right here. I actually, well, we'll talk about it. But, uh, I will tell you this, I love the look. You walked out and I, I immediately thought, no collusion, no Russia. Like I was very bad when you first walked out with that headpiece on. Um, and then also, I want to rewind to, but also, great job. I loved your face, I loved your acting during the, when you guys were all coming out, doing great. Um, your main challenge, I wrote down, girl, last week I read the whole cast for not having shaved arms. And then you have the audacity to come out and just be like, hey guys, oh no, I saw the glitter that accentuated the hair. And I was like, I was like, what happened? I know, I know I said glitter, but girl, when you have hair over the glitter shadowing it, it's not gonna shine. So that's that's the only thing. I that was so the big more one. glitter. More glitter. <laughs> bigger, bigger grand school. Fuck the glitter, get a razor. Fuck the glitter, get a razor. That'll be a lot easier. Do some narrow, girl. Um, other than that, the look is great. I thought it was fabulous. I thought it was funny. There were some times that I was like, okay, I'm a little bit bored right here. But then you go into the whole Rick and Morty gig, which I thought was hilarious. I thought it was funny. Um, but it wasn't like my favorite tonight. You know what I'm saying? And I love your pickle number. I've seen it before, and that was. I was just hoping to see something different. Um, that was it. Other than that, your makeup was fantastic tonight. I love your green. Every time you would pipe, bite the pickle, I thought, oh my god, her eyes are getting greener and greener. So great job. Give it up for Beth. And one thing I 
can say for the four of you, I, I heard through the grapevine, through little birds here and there, that all three, or excuse me, all four of you have gotten along and actually are like kicking and having a wonderful time. I love that. the six season we've been sitting through, the amount of bullshit me and Janae have heard coming from the contestants, I love the fact that you guys are actually building a sisterhood. That's what it's all about. So, great job, y'all. You're doing it all. All right, so, Onika Steele. Hey, darling. Uh, Onika, uh, for this challenge, I will tell you this. When you were first walked out, you were the first one to walk out and do the most, and you, you gave your first line. And as soon as you walked to the wall, you did not walk off stage. You still were like wiping the teeth and you were still giving attitude, looking people up and down. I mean, you stayed in the character and I loved every second of it. I thought you did a great job. Give it up for Odika still. I love it. Um, I will agree with uh, the critiques that Janae gave you. However, some of the things that I wrote down were, girl, I hate you for this number. How dare you pull out that big old dildo and slap people in the audience in the face. Bitch, you were walking through, wobbling that through, and somebody looked at you and you went, bam, and just, <laughs> I, I said, how fucking dare you, was it you? You had the dildo and you also got spit on. Other than that, I, I, I wrote down your lip sync is, is something that is not to be toyed with. And I hope you keep that in your drag because that's something that has sent many girls home. Um, I hope you keep that. I thought your main challenge was fucking hilarious. And the fact that you were sitting on Mr. Tucson Pride's face and literally, literally gyrating, bitch, and getting your like, which ha happened to work with the mix. It was it was very well planned. I was not expecting that from you. And um, other than that, um, I hate you. So that was it. It's the nicest thing I've ever said to anybody. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna move it on to this day to South America. This is Venus. <laughs> Give it up for these handsome boys, everybody. Swan! Oh shit! 
Seriously, make some noise for your top four, ladies and gentlemen. 